Hello guys and welcome to a new Warno video today by me Vulcan. In this one I have for you a 2 versus 2 on Mount River and I'm going to be playing with the 5th Panzer Division. I'm going to be playing this one live. I'm going to be joined by Steven Sol on my team today. Uh, I don't know who he is, just a random person who decided to join my lobby as well as my opponents today. So let's see i wanted to show off fobs today that was kind of the main plan i do have a felder depot as you can see at the start it is the new structure that you can place down that has i think sixteen thousand supply that it can give out to any vehicles any supply vehicles that come up to it you can load them up with supply and send them off you can also just resupply directly from it if you want to it just gives you that sort of base of supply that you might need for the game. The other thing we're going to be able to do today is use the Leopards. I'm also going to be using the Mars Artillery. We're going to be seeing how that gets on. I'm not going to be bringing it out at the start because it's way too expensive to do that. It's 400 points. The first thing we want to do is definitely bring up some Recon Infantry and some French Beer. So French Beer are, I think, Special Forces Snipers. Yeah. So they're going to be kind of leading the charge. We'll have the Jäger Aufklader follow them up because they have the Panzerfaust, so that's pretty important. My teammate decided to go on the right-hand side. We'll try and support him a little bit. I might pop a Jäger Aufklader into here at least so that they don't get control over this tree line and then come in here and flank me. I might also want to cover off the left side. We could put an Alouette, but I think what I'm going to actually do is we'll drop a Fenspear over here and we'll just have it maybe sit on the side on one of these mountain points and be able to kind of see if anything's moving out on the left hand side or I could move it all the way to the edge over here that might be a good idea as well just so that we can see the opposing cliffs and maybe see anything moving around the far left side it's gonna be kind of difficult if they went all the way around the edge then I might not spot them regardless anyway the timer has been started. Uh, let's go ahead and get some tanks down. I'm probably just going to do Leopard 105s to begin with. And we'll do a Gepard and a Roland for my AA. Pretty expensive AA early on. We are also going to want probably a Milan team just to help control the ranged engagements. And then I'll want probably a couple Marder. So we'll go for the Marder 183 Milans since I can afford a couple of them. I'm going to bring them up on the left side here and we'll get them unloaded and try and make a little play through the tree line. But yeah my plan is basically to set up my Mars artillery at some point and then we can use the Feld Depot to resupply them. And what I'll do is I'll fire my rocket artillery from somewhere maybe over here and then we'll just drive back, get supply and then we'll move somewhere else to fire again. And that's the uh, the benefit of having a FOB or an FSP as they call them now in Warno. The field supply point because it's not quite a forward operating base uh, which would usually house infantry. It's just kind of more like an ammo dump. So field supply point it is or in this case a Feld Depot. We got 15 seconds till we start. My forces are all set up. It looks like we're good to go. And my teammate on the right hand side seems to know what he's doing, so that's good. We'll chuck a good luck, have fun in the chat as well. And off we go. Both of my opponents were reasonably high level, which was good. And I think my teammate, he was only level seven or something, so we'll see how he gets on. Let's follow my Fernspear into combat. The little Iltis car zooming ahead. I guess all of the, the men are in the boot. Same with the Unimog. <laughs> They're just clinging on underneath. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll get it so that they have uh, models in the back. Got a couple of Leopard 185s though, of course, on the way. These are going to be interesting, see how these perform. We're up against the 39th and 79th, so there's going to be a lot of heavy tanks that are pretty brutal to deal with, but 
it's not going to matter too much as long as I use cover well, because at this sort of range, most of my tanks will be able to penetrate their tanks. It's just a matter of spotting the other, like each other first. It may be worth investing into an aircraft. Ouch. <laughs> Goodbye to my <laughs> poor unit there. The SU-25 went down just to kill my Jaeger Avtada. Oh, the SAS missing two shots. Crikey. Onto the MI-2. Alright, let's just have the Avtada move up. We'll sell my Iltis. Uh, we need to sell the Unimox and then back to base. We'll get the Milan to start moving up the tree line. And my fixed Milan can move into the right hand tree line. I do need to bring in a command. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll actually just do a Leopard 1A5 Führer. Like, Steven's also doing the same. Neither of us really investing in those early on. Alright, let's get my Wernspeer to go over the mountain. And if they did both buy commands at the start, we might be able to make a little bit of ground. It's going to be difficult regardless, I think. Let's see how we get on. And I might already invest into a Mars because we're getting pretty good. Oh, there we go. Nice side shot there. That's what we like to see. Fortunately, <laughs> we get one shot killed. We did kill... I'm just going to pop that smoke. Make sure that, that doesn't get wrecked. If I can kill the TATB, that would be fantastic. Trading a Leopard 1A5 for a TATB is a, is a good kill. I'm using the AG Alf player here to basically spot this for me. And we're able to kill that off. Lovely. Right, let's bring up some supply. As my Yeg Avka is able to get resupplied, so we'll make sure to use that. And here comes the Mars. So we're going to get the artillery in early on, and then I'm going to bring in more Leopard 105s that we can use to trade against these more expensive tanks. And if I can continue to get good engagements off, that's really nice. Also, my Igla here doing it. Well, it's not my Igla, my Fernspear doing a great job of killing the Igla squads. Hopefully the TATB won't spoil the fun. Looks like he is kind of lacking recon. And we're able to take out both of those. Which does leave him vulnerable to air attack. So I might hit him with a cluster munition. Let's go ahead and bring in a Crusader. Not a Crusader, a Tornado. <laughs> Why did I say Crusader? <laughs> We are going to have to get on top of this whole <laughs> points problem that's going on right now. That's unfortunate, it's going to the right. I should have made it go to the left on purpose. But now I can push it. Got to be careful, we've got to kill that Conkers. I've run out of sniper ammunition though. Okay, good. Did the trick. Let's get some more infantry on the way. We're going to want my pioneers. Let's not push too aggressively with that just yet. Need to look for a target for the Mars. I could hit this, this infantry, but it's probably not the best use of my units here. Uh, if there's a T ATBV coming up next to it, then sure, we'll aim there. So we need to get out of line of sight of the T-80. Enemy artillery coming in. Let's back up from that. Maybe my Leopard 105 can finish off the T-80, although my Mars is firing soon. Maybe that will finish the job. 
I should probably fire at these conkers, to be honest. But my snipers might be able to kill those off, so that's what I'm going to kind of count on. I shouldn't really be firing it from here. <laughs> Just pop smoke. It's faster than falling back. What I can do, in theory, is kind of peek, let them both fire, and then pull back into cover, and they'll lose track. And we can just keep doing that till they're out of ammunition. It's really kind of cheesy, but it does work. As long as I'm paying attention, we don't let it get too close. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to double team the TATB. And my Leopard 2A4 should be arriving shortly. I'm actually going to cancel one of those and we're going to get our second Mars in. Since we're using uh, Feld Depot, getting good use out of my artillery is super important. There we go, trading again. That's good. Leopard 2A3 won't trade. Okay, Leopard does, so that will be good. Or Leopard 1A5 does. Uh, oh, that artillery is hitting my supply directly. Probably going to get it killed. Artillery is really brutal right now because you can't see the trails, as you might have noticed. It is going to be fixed. It's just a little bug that turned up in the latest patch. For the reason I'm recording this live, actually, <laughs> it's because of a, uh, a bug. But I know some of you guys wanted to see me play live, so I decided, you know what, why not? Let's just do it live. It's going to be quite difficult to get the points back because we're going to have to push all the way through here and it's quite like a choke honestly to push into we have traded well so far and we do have the double mars so there is in theory i'm gonna actually just maybe get both to fire at that i should kill them picking out those cubs would actually be pretty useful my Gaffard's going to go to it for a journey over to the left side. Got to be really careful with this Leopard. Let's bring up some more of these just to help out. Bernspeer can definitely engage the Conquest, that is fine. Go ahead and sell those. I'm going to just move everything over. Right, here go my Mars. Firing away. You'll see the shots start landing on the cubes. Not sure we even killed them. landing everywhere over here. Oh, let's have that pull back. I do need to deal with that T-80. If we... Mm, I don't know if I want to airstrike that. It would probably be better if I invested into the other artillery as well, the M110.
I'm going to let the Jaeger after I go first. Because they have AT. I'm going to bring in another Roland. I actually need to bring in more of those. Right, looks like we took out the BMP-1. Got to be really careful with my engagements here. What I can do though is move up my Milan. Taking out the recon on the left, that's good. Nice, good kill there from the Fuchs Milan. Let's get the Leopard back. Let me move it all the way back. He's really trying to trade back onto me. Oh gosh. I won't let him. Let's get the Pioneers out. We'll get the Unimogs to run away. Nice hit by the Jaeger Avtala. Got a good hit in there. <laughs> the Fuchs Milan just got annihilated. Right, we want the Jaeger Avtala to go first so that we can see what we're fighting. We want to do the same over here. We'll only take the Jaeger Avtala one shot to kill the uh, tank on the left. It was only on one health and I'm not sure that he has resupplied it. My teammate on the right is actually doing a pretty good job of holding the line. I'm happy about that. Oh, we've got to be careful. Oh, yeah. Monastrauki with their RPG is going to do a lot of damage to Leopard 185s at close range. Really careful of that. This is the trouble of getting through here, but if I use my Mars again to move them together, I can probably smash this position pretty well. Well, nice, Jaeger Avtala are going to get an ambushing hit. Ah, they missed. That's unfortunate. But what we can do, we can put one here, we can put one here. Artillery will be coming in shortly. Oh yeah, get out of a little bit out of position. I'm gonna get my Marder to come back and then help engage that. And here comes my artillery. I'm gonna kill this one closest so it doesn't get like a side shot onto me, that would be really bad. He's really committing hard. I need to fall back with this. Send my pioneers forwards. That was a brutal engagement, he's just piling in. I do have my supply on the way. We should probably invest more into the 2A3s because I think we can probably make a breakthrough here. I have a ton of points. I'm trading really, really well. I just need to, a massive force that I can use to overwhelm them. That's going to be a cluster. We've got to get out of there. Okay, I didn't get hit by too much of that. That's good. A little bit of lag. Like one of the players is lagging a little bit. Might drop. Hopefully we don't have too much problems with that throughout the game. I was trying not to use my Jäger Aftala, or lose the Jäger Aftala on the far left there, but they did go down. I'm just going to stop this here. I can actually keep my Jäger Aftala moving forwards. We'll allow the Pioneers to reload their hand flam patrons because that makes them very strong. We'll just keep trying to trade well and continue to move forward. It's going to get the rest of my recon infantry in. Even my looks. Like, recon is super important at the moment in Warno, so making sure I have plenty is the way to go. I also need to probably bring in something to secure my right flank. But as soon as we get through this choke point, if I can get through it without any big problems, then we're all good. I'm 
going to want to fall back here. Ooh, ouch. Uh, let's get the furniture bear to fall back. The furniture bear shouldn't be engaging armoured targets. It's for my Jaeger Aftara to do. He's trying to sneak up on me with the T-80. Still there on low health, apparently. Let's bring in my artillery here. These should be getting resupplied. My tank line is on its way, which is good. Fernspeer looks like they might get away from this. But his next wave of infantry has arrived, so i got to be super careful now. Let's get these pioneers forwards. Those can just sit and recover. And we're going to start firing. Probably towards this Tunguska. If I can get rid of the Tunguska, I can use my tornadoes. But it seems we've run out of supply. A little bit unfortunate. Alright, let's pull off to the side. With all these units. I'm just going to pull my leopard back. It's kind of risky of being up there. Okay, now we have a very large concentration. Hopefully my Mars are reloaded soon. And we'll be able to use them to solidify a push towards the enemy. Let me get my lepers to charge ahead here. Unfortunately, he did get off his cluster, so I think those two leopards are probably dead in the middle there. Oh, they survived. This cluster is just kind of bad at the moment. As long as he doesn't use the mud strike, he'd finish them off. That's okay. Also, my unit here should come back. These need to come forwards. Right, we're going to fire at that again. Good. Alright. So far, so good. Kind of lost more than I wanted to in those engagements, but it's okay. Let's uh, turn these off. So they can't be targeted by seed. And they're back on. Unfortunately, we missed. It's okay. Let's just get these leopards into cover. And I'll make sure to move these after they fire. So I need to keep my units moving. Shoot and scoot. And that crash almost killed my leopards. <laughs> that would have been unfortunate. Right, have I only got one Jaeger of color left? I think I have. It's kind of unfortunate. Because not having recon infantry that I can push ahead that's like meaty is going to force me to like sacrifice Panzergrenz to do the same thing. Get our men resupplied. Just going to bring up plenty of supply vehicles that we can start cycling backwards and forwards. He's going for a big push over here. Check out the craters on this side. That's rough. An SU-25, I guess, ran out of sight on that challenger. I'm going to bring him some AA. See if we can get the Jaeger Aftala in the building here. Maybe my looks can scout for me. The other thing that we could do is, I was going to say buy some, buy an air superiority fighter or something, but I don't have one. 
was a little bit awkward. It doesn't look like we're getting flanked. I mean, I could potentially flank them, but their leader's probably over here by the way that the front line is. So that could be a better choice than just continuing the push through here. Although I could get maybe to the double two sectors, that would be pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna fire at these with my artillery. I wonder if he'll notice. Meanwhile, we can smash that with my artillery. I don't know where that's coming in. <laughs> I think it's right there, apparently. Unless that was a rocket. My pioneer dying like that is kind of sad. I'm curious if he'll actually move them. I'm going to assume that he will. But we'll try. Might as well try at least once. This was supposed to help my breakthrough, but... My main artillery can just help pin those down. Alright, we're going to go to here and push through with the leopards. I'm going to do it all on the same side, just to brute force my way through. You see the artillery landing back there. Very cool. Another SU-25 coming in. I do have my Rolands on the way. We'll let the Fernspeer move up. I'd like to get line of sight onto the Tunguska if I can. Well, that's a UD. Okay. Uh, where's my artillery at? We need to hit that ASAP. It's a scary unit. There's two of them. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, I might be able to overwhelm them somewhat if I can get close enough. hit there by the artillery. Very nice hit. They're stunned. I should have attacked them while they were stunned. Would have been good. We can probably just... We'll let the 1A5 sit still. But the 2A3s can just go forwards. Oh, that's a bunch of... Leopards, or oh, crikey, but we got just got loads of kills there. Brute force our way through. This one can smoke itself off. Oh, damn, that was a good engagement for us. Wow. <laughs> Stabilizes for the win. Oh, damn, that was very, very good. Brutal push. Now we can back it up with all the stuff back here that we've been fixing up and resupplying. Get my AA forwards for sure, we need to do that ASAP. And he's going to be forced to move his unit out of the sector, that's a big, big win. Right, let's just keep going. What I'm going to do is we're going to bring in a Jäger Alkana that can hold this cap, and then we're going to bring my Leopard up, push further forwards. going to want to resupply these. We'll let the infantry continue to go ahead, but that was a massive breakthrough. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to double cluster onto these T-80s, help out my teammate a little bit. I can bring in a bunch of leopards actually, just to back him up. But these Rolands, they're going to want to take cover.
<laughs> very, very close there. Get the Leopard 2A3s into position. This is the beauty of having Leopard 105s. Is that they can provide like fire support in between, kind of cover my other units. And then my 2A3s can actually do the damage they need to do. Huge. Alright. Let's bring in another Leopard 105. I'm going to bring in some Marders on this side and we're going to flank them into that sector. Huge wins right now for my Leopards. Uh, my Jaeg Avtan, I need to move ahead. We just need to keep the movement going. Nice. I think we got a really, really lucky crit there. The incendiary crit is pretty clutch. And we're just going to pop the smoke on this so it doesn't get hit by the A to GM. <laughs> Bit too late. Ooh. Smoke off. It's fine. Alright, as long as we kill this, we're okay. Or at least force it out of the sector. Alright, let's spread out my leopards to help. Big bag this side. Are these UDs are going to be difficult to deal with, but since we're in position, what we can do is invest in a bunch of Milans to hold the line. I'm going to get my supply truck in here. We still have my artillery that we can use, but I think I'll probably use it to help break down the chap on the right here. We're going to move these over to the right as well. And then what I'm going to do, we're going to hit these T-80s as they are together. I could say is I've moved up a little bit while he's like fast moving them. Okay. Alright, let's start smashing these with artillery. When we hit the two T-80s before with artillery, that was huge. And then we made that push on them. It was an absolute massacre. So cool. I've got artillery coming in on our positions now. Hopefully that did a bunch of damage onto those forces. But yeah, we're going to drive through here and just decap from this side. Like, artillery is absolutely a brutal right now. It really, really is. I think the biggest thing this guy's struggling with though is actually just recon. Not having recon is making him struggle for sure. Now, there is only 10 minutes left on the clock so we are on a little bit of a time limit right now. Let's have my friend Speer move up. Okay. See if I can get my Fuchsmalans into position. If I can, that'd be really good. He's going to struggle to see that. We 
missed that shot. Right, let's move these forwards. And what I might do this time is we might just artillery this side. Bring up a Leopard 1A5 and a Leopard 2A3. Are my Roland still alive? They are. Alright. Let's just smoke these in case they can be seen. That was good. We shot down one of them. He's trying to push forwards now, but he's just going to get flanked. They're stressed. They're really stressed. So they're quite inaccurate. Now this is a problem. Uh, where are my Rolands at? <laughs> my AA has been lacking this game on the left hand side. Gotta be super careful with my left hands against these. Yeah, he's uh, going to be relying on helicopters for the time being. That's okay. Ah, bad timing. This is smoked off, but I need to make sure that more of them are smoked off. <laughs> Otherwise, we will be having problems. if I can bring over the leopard to the left to help kill stuff there. He's making a big play now and I don't really have anything to stop him. This Roland's got a lot of work to do. He's got to hit pretty much every shot. Where am I? <laughs> They're taking a while to get to the front. Go on, hit the next one, please. Oh, no, it missed. All right, we'll pull back into cover. This is really bad. <laughs> we got to do a runner with our infantry. Okay, he fell back because he saw the thing. But yeah, he could definitely could have run me down there. That would have been so bad. So my Mars, we're going to have attack here. And then they can come back to the Feld Depot. We've currently got 7,200 supply left on the Feld Depot, so it's definitely been useful. But in the game, we're getting a good lead now with a plus six. I'll just go and shoot that down. My, I think my tornado should have enough to kill it. See if we can use this to kill the Modestralki. Good. Oh no, that Ronan got killed. Oh. Isn't good. It'd be really hard to shoot that down. Ooh, my alpha jet. Alright, let's just push in here. Move the leopard up. We need to recap this. I'm just trying to think what with. Bring up a infantry unit. Let's get these back to be resupplied as well. We'll unload these. Lovely. We're doing okay. Now I have the Gapards in position, which is nice. 
Don't have to worry about the helicopters anymore. Although we've almost won. Four minutes, 20 left. I'm actually really happy how this game's gone. <laughs> it was a bit touch and go to begin with because we lost so many points to the enemy. But it's been a solid comeback, that's for sure. My mal my malada? <laughs> my marder, unfortunately, going down there. We're going to take this supply back, though. My leopard should, if it keeps face facing the right way, be able to kill the motostroki. The Roland's twos saved my Marder. Oh, this Marder's dead though. Okay, cool. Need to make a big comeback. And it seemed to work out well. Lovely stuff. G G. Beautiful comeback. 9,045 kills, 3,900 losses. Just a little bit of a carry. Um, my teammate did hold well, though, for a very long time on the right-hand side, considering he's only, like, level 7, I'm pretty sure. He did a good job. The Mars managed to pick up a few kills. Maybe not as many as you'd like, considering it costs 400 points. <laughs> but, yeah, it did okay. The Leopard 105, the Leopard 203s, they did really well. That engagement, when I pinned down his T-80 UDs and then charged them with all of my tanks, that was huge. Utterly obliterated his front line. My artillery, whilst it didn't pick up the kills itself, these M110s were super important. And it was a beautiful combined arms push. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play live. It's something that I don't do terribly often. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.